Fix Nation, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. And guys, in this video, I'm gonna go ahead and break down exactly how I have my trading view charts set up. I know I get asked this almost like every week. What kind of what how do you have your trading view set up uh, chart set up? So in this week's video, I'm gonna go ahead and literally break the whole thing down of how I have my chart set up. All right, guys, so without further ado, let's get this started. All right, so let's go ahead and literally we're gonna start from beginning to end and let's build exactly how I have my chart set up. Um, this is essentially what you get um, when you first open up a chart on TradingView, right? It's on modified and everything like that. The first thing that I do, and if you're wondering why is my chart black versus white, I hate white charts, so that's why it is black. All of my charts, no matter on what computer I go to, they're black. I hate the white charts. Um, especially if you're trading at, you know, like three o'clock in the morning, the screen is super bright um, and it's just annoys the crap out of me. So uh, you right click on the chart, you go to color theme and you can change it uh, to dark. So that's the first thing. If you have white charts and you want to get into black, that's the first thing. Right click color theme and then dark. OK, now I get rid of this volume indicator because I don't use it. All right. And then the next thing I do is I get rid of the stupid ass lines. So I go to right click and I go to settings and then I go ahead and I go to appearance. I go to the vert and horizontal grid lines and I basically just change the opacity on them uh, so they don't, so they're not there anymore. So like that, okay? Then I hate green and red candles. I don't know why, but I've always used uh, blue and red candles. So that's the next thing that I change is essentially I go to symbol and then I literally just change all of this. Anything that's green, I just change it to blue. That's it. OK, um, I then go ahead and change my time, my time zone. I, ch I change it to my own time zone so I know exactly uh, what time I'm in on the charts you can change that to your own time zone it will not affect the indicators i'm going to show you that to put on all right got that got the new york setup time got all my candles uh set up as far as uh, the color of the bodies wicks and everything like that so that's what it looks like right now right so next is we start adding uh the indicators okay so I just hop over to the 15 minute chart so I can show you as I add them um, how they look. All right, so first thing I go to is at the very top here, I go to the uh, the indicators and strategies. I click on that and literally you can just type in FXN and you can see all of our indicators here and I literally is just click, click, click. All right, and I get all three of the indicators. That's it. Okay. Now you can see that the three indicators literally give you everything, everything you need um, is within those indicators. All right. So the buy and sell signals, which is basically the dots of the crossover, the five and 13, um, the Asian range, uh, which basically if we go back, it'll start to, um, it'll do the boxes for you. The EMAs are already there as part of the indicator. Um, there are some adjustments that you need to make. If you go into the Asian range, Asian session range indicator, okay, um, you go to the inputs and galore of changes that you can make here. All right, so the things that I like to do and that I like to make sure done are I go ahead and uh, the first thing that I like to do is scroll down to the London session, uh, start time, start minute. I change this to three o'clock 
and then I end this at seven o'clock. So three, seven, three to seven. All right. I scroll down to the New York session. I basically do the same thing. Uh, eight o'clock and noon. Okay. Follow me so far. If you keep scrolling down, uh, show line label uh, yesterday's high, yesterday's low. Yes. Show previous day's range. Yes. Um, show this week's high and low. Yes. Uh, show line for weekly high and low. Yes. Show daytime. Yes. I, I click everything on. All right. There's a reason why I, ha I had uh, Rob create the indicators like this. So I want everything on. Obviously, if you don't want it on, that's up to you. But I love it. So that's what I'm going to have. And as you can see, now we started basically adding all of the lines for the week high, week low, previous week's uh, high, previous week's low, yesterday's high and low and stuff like that. That's where all these lines are there for. All right. Um, the next thing is I go to the week and day separator. So once I go into the settings of the day and week separator, um, I'm literally turning on show day separation line. That basically shows you the beginning and end of every day. Obviously, you want that. Show uh, the separator days in the one-hour chart. Yes. Um, and then sh uh, use short names for the days of the week. All right. And then click OK. And then that's literally pretty much it. Okay. So what are these lines, all these lines mean? Because I know sometimes it can get a lot of very confusing so the yellow dotted line obviously is the beginning of the week the white dotted lines is basically the beginning of every day all right these lines here that show up pretty much every day you can see they have little labels next to them right so i'm going to zoom, try to zoom in here as close close as possible so you can see them but so this line represents the weekly low so the lowest point of the week so far this represents yesterday's low. All right, so that's yesterday's low there. This one represents the previous week's high. This line up here represents yesterday's high. This line represents the week high. Okay, so you have lines basically representing uh, the current week high and lows, the current uh, yeah, previous days high and low, and then previous weeks high and low. All right. Why are these lines there and why are they important? They're there because these lines, you can basically use them as essentially like pivot points where price seems to get a reaction out of. OK, so instead of having 20 trillion lines of different pivot points there, OK, I basically have the major ones. All right. That matter the most. OK, so. Those are the ones that, that I feel matter the most, and those are the ones that I found that where price bounces off of uh, the most, so that's why I have them there, okay? Um, the second thing is if you double-click on any of the uh, EMA lines, it should take you to the settings of uh, where the EMAs are, okay? Very important that you go ahead and you uncheck this 365 EMA you don't need it all right just check it off you don't need it and then here of course you can change your colors if you want if you want to so I typically do something like this and then boom that's it and so if you don't like uh, maybe some of the writings here literally you can just double click on it it'll take you to the right uh, to the right box and then these options here allow you to, you know, click and uncheck on whatever it is that you want to to basically uh, to change. OK. All right. So that's literally how I have my chart set up for uh, the indicators that we use. If you want to use TDI, OK, if you want to actually have that, that's perfectly fine. Keep in mind that you're essentially going to have to have a pro account. Uh, to add it because on the free version of TradingView, uh, you could only get three indicators for free. 
so basically we fit uh, all of our major indicators that we wanted into three so basically you could have uh, all of the major things that we use in in the free version of trading view however if you are really serious about trading I mean honestly let's be real here I mean you're gonna have to go with the pro version of, of trading view so you can get up to five indicators um, and then most importantly I think the hugest part about it is you can actually back test because you can only back test for on the free version on the daily charts and that really doesn't you know provide you any kind of real good you know good data so if you want to back test on this you might as well get the pro version um, and it's only like fifteen dollars a month okay it's only fifteen dollars a month for the pro version you'll be able to add up to five indicators uh, and then most importantly, you'll be able to back test as well. So if you want the TDI indicator, all you have to do, remember, you got to have a pro account for this. Just go ahead up to the top indicators. Uh, obviously, make sure you have public library selected uh, and then just type in TDI. You'll see a bunch of different ones here, like literally a bunch of them. All right. The one that you can use is just click on the one that's uh, that's this one here that's highlighted. All right and it'll put it on for you okay now very simply you can just literally double click on it you can leave all of these numbers alone you don't need to edit or change any of that all right what i like to do is i actually like to change the numbers here to 37 32 67 and 63 okay so those are my ranges that I like to use for the TDI okay and basically the ranges at the very top here are, are the ones that I'm really more interested in right the the really you know over what what they typically call oversold and overbought areas are the ones that I really mostly pay attention to unless I'm looking for a type 3 that I'm looking for balances off the 50 here okay but that's essentially the entire charting package uh, that I use I use the three indicators that we have that we give out for free all right for free uh, and then the TDI and then I can just double click and hide the TDI whenever I don't want to look at it right that's literally it that's all that I use for my charts okay that's it it's pretty simple nothing complicated um, and then of course down here on the watch list you can just add whatever um, whatever pairs you want to add all right I would say make sure that if you're adding the pairs to your watch list make sure that they're all from the same broker all right so what do I mean by that so if you type in like pound USD you'll see that there's a God knows amount of pound USDs right so the ones that I use are all a Wanda uh, from the broker a Wanda well, why do I use a Wanda is because that's I have an account through a Wanda so whatever broker you want to use so either whether it's you know FXCM or Wanda or Forex.com, make sure that all of your pairs are all the same. All right, make sure that they are all the same, especially if you're trying to trade, uh, if you're trying to basically use one of their brokers here, like if you're trying to log in with the Wanda or uh, Forex.com, if you have if you're logged in into your trading account here in TradingView with a Wanda and you're trying to use a forex.com chart the trades are not going to go through so just make sure whatever it is that you use that they're literally all the same okay just make sure whatever broker you use they're literally all the same all right but guys that is literally how my charts are I hope this helps answer your questions as far as what indicators I use and how my chart set up on are on trading view so i hope this helped remember that if you want to have literally all of the indicators which is four in total 
you need to have a pro account uh, on the free account you can only have three all right either way either way guys I hope you enjoyed the video guys if you have any questions just leave the comments below um, I'll have all the links to everything below also we have a new class starting next week for students we only have three spots left if you're interested and that'll be it guys thank you so much and have a great week Thank you.